Hey everyone, welcome back to Desert Fox Gaming. So today we're going to be going to be opening up one of the newer items, the Cooperage V box. And then we're also going to be opening up something pretty old. I got it, well, when did this come out? Mm, 2017? Okay, so about like three years ago. The Entei, Raikou, and Suicune card set. Well, at least the three promo cards from like the Steam Siege, it looks like. I was cruising the actual Pokemon website online and I found at least I found a Leafeon GX box no luck on the Glaceon one yet and I found this and I was like hey I love these legendaries and I don't have the cards so let's go ahead and purchase them it looks like they're actually all from like different sets I don't know what that one is but this one is Unified Minds maybe maybe not was not into Pokemon three years ago but Let's go ahead and open up the Cooperage V-Box. So this is a different artwork than the Pokemon Cooperage from the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, slash just the base set Sword and Shield. So, but it still has the same moves, just different artwork. We also get the wonderful giant card quite a collection of those going on. I'm trying to decide if I want to pay to get them framed or just leave them as they are. There we go. All right. There is the new artwork, well, the promo Cooperage V with Admantian Press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage after attacks and then rack down for 180 damage, three steel energy and one normal energy. All right, and then there is the large card to go with it. All right, let's see, we have, let's see, two Sword and Shield Rubble Clash, one Sword and Shield, and then one Sun and Moon Guardian Rising pack. All right, let's just go ahead and open up the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So I don't know if you guys can tell, probably not, but we moved recently. So we are attempting to get organized. If you guys follow the Instagram account, Desert Fox Gaming, links on the web on the front of the web page right there. You can see our semi setup new gaming room, which I find quite exciting. So we're trying to figure out how to completely set it up. Alright, we have water energy to start out with. We have a vanillish, the Aether Paradise Conservation Area, Paula. Bellsprout, Gligar, Parrot, Snurrunts, is it in a fridge? Yes, it is in a fridge at the beach to keep cool. Interesting. We have a Murkrow stealing shiny jewels. We have a Reverse Hollow Tentacruel and a Salazzle. The ability Hot Poison, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, let's move on to the Sword and Shield Robo Clash. Well, Sword and Shield base set first. So we only have one of these packs. I still need to like make get a list together and make said list to keep track of what sets are going in or coming in and what sets are going out. All right, we have Fire Energy. We have a Big Charm. Seeking. Wacky. Goldeen. Yamper. Skorupi. Oh, Diglett in the background right there. Popobus. Wooloo, a Reverse Hollow Rhydon, and a Delmise V. Nice. So this is my third Rhydon card and my second Delmise V. I didn't have one when I was putting my binder of the, of the Sword and Shield base set together, so I just ordered one online and now I have two. So it goes. Alright, we're moving on to the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash packs. Alright, 
Let's go for Psychic. Nope, more fire. All right, we have a Turfield Stadium, which has become one of my new favorite stadium cards. We have a Carcoal, a Hatram, Natu, Hone Edge, Impidimp, Magmar, a Electabuzz. Ooh, nice, my Butterfree. That has also become my new, fit one of my new favorite Pokemon and a Meg Mortar. All right, moving on to the last Sword and Shield Rebel Clash pack. So I don't know if you guys have watched the uh, Rillabooms and Butterfree um, match video that I posted a while back. Um, but since then I've like readapted the deck and now it is pretty much just straight Butterfreeze and Parasects. So once it gets going, it goes. But it does have a little bit of trouble. There's another fire energy. Did we get all three fire energy except for the first one? Indeed we did. If it doesn't get, um, well, if the Butterfree deck doesn't get going in a little bit, or in the first couple turns, kind of doesn't go anywhere, or it's just in the fact that, like, it doesn't hit hard enough. So the problem comes when, like, people switch out. Or they evolve, and then it just is back to square one. My poor little Butterfreeze. All right, we have a Palisands. We have a Training Court. Lampet. A Galarian Yamask. Applin. It's good for the, what's it called? The Sableye Obstagoon deck. The Hatena. The Aracuda. Galarian Meow. And a Reverse Hollow Cursed Shovel, and a Barbaracle. Something along those lines. Anyway, that is it for the Cooperage V. Let's go on now to the other little set here. The Suiku, Raikou, and MK. Promo set from different sets themselves. This is not working. Oh, there it goes. Alright, what are these from? Yeah, these are some pretty old old cards here. The XY Steam Siege. All right, let's get these out of here. Mm -hmm. Gently. Yeah, these are in here pretty good. There's one. There's three. And I'm not worried about breaking the plastic coin. But if it did, that'd just be unfortunate. There we go. Alright. So, these guys are like a little bit warped. Yeah, they're pretty badly warped, but that's okay. I'm not going to be playing these. These are more just for my personal little collection. My feelings of satisfaction. Alright, so we have one X by Steam Siege and another one of the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, which I'm pretty sure is going to be going away shortly, if it has not already. Alright, water? Nope. Hey, we're back to the fairy energy when it still existed. Poor fairy energy went by the wayside. Alright, we have a Glalie. A watchdog, multi switch, move an energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. We have a Machop, Phantop with a Mimikyu, a little, little mini tag team going on right there. We have a Barboach, a Caravana, with another Caravana in the shadows underwater right there, and another one in the background. Piranhas. <laughs> we have a Talo. We have a Reverse Hollow Slowbro. Going after something in the water right there. And we have a Psychic Ori... Orikoro with Vital Dance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck up for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Interesting. 
All right, last pack for this video, the XY Steam Siege with the Gardevoir on the front. What do we have here? We have a Clauncher. We have a Ipom. Yanma. Sneasel. A Litleo. Something like that. We have a Reverse Hollow Krogunk. The Gastrodon. Male and female version? I don't know. I honestly do not know. Then we have a Persian with a Floet something floating above it. And we have a shield on and a steric steelix spirit link. Words are difficult sometimes. All right, everyone, that is it for this Cooperage, Copperage, Copperage. Yes, I finally said that right. Copperage V box and then the two cards from the dog trio, the original dog trio legendaries. Sword Doggo and Shield Doggo. They're the new guys in town right now. All right, guys, don't forget to upload the video, um, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments if you enjoy watching. I will see you next time. Bye.